Hey everybody, today I show you how to create dynamic hair in Blender. Start by adding your object, in my case I use the monkey and I also will add some subdivision to it and apply it. After that you can go into edit mode and press 3 to get the face selection mode and at the top here you can choose select circle and then just draw where all your hair should be. If you press shift and draw you can continue drawing the new faces. If you accidentally drew somewhere else you can also press control and draw over it again to deselect it. After you're happy with your selection you can press P and separate it by selection. This will separate the geometry and we can use this to drive the hair particle system. With this part selected we can go into the particle system and add in a new one. Select the hair particle system and under hair length you can scale down the hair until you find a length you like. To have the hair animated we need to activate hair dynamics. If we press play now the hair will already be simulated. In here we can change some settings. Under structure we can play around with the stiffness. If we up the stiffness you can see the hair will be harder and won't flop together. And if we lower the stiffness let's say to 0.1 all the hairs will flop down. So find a value you like, I leave it at 0.5 for now and under volume we can also play around with the air drag. The air drag means if the object moves how much the hair should be affected by the air. So for the valley 1 it looks something like this. The hair gets a little bit affected by the, the wind while it's moving. But if we up the air drag, let's say to 10, you can see the hair gets way more affected. So again here it depends what scene you're looking for. If your character moves super fast and you want to show it you can up the air drag. If you ha just have a normal movement you can leave it at 1 or play around with it until you find a setting that suits for your scene. To get a little bit more randomness in here we can select the advanced setting and under physics we can change the brownian to 0.1. This will just frizz up the hair a little bit and gives the hair some more character. In the children setting we can select interpolated, this will just generate more hair. The display amount is the one we see in the viewport, we can change this maybe to 20 to get a feeling how it will look in the end. The render amount we can maybe set to 50, if it's too much for your PC you can also leave it at 20. Just play around with it until you find the setting that works for your setup. Down here we also have some more settings to stylize the hair. In the clumping setting we can up or lower the clumping. This just means the ends of the hair will clump together and form some sort of spikes. Let's move this a little bit up and under the roughness setting we can frizz up the hair. So if we change the endpoint value you can see the hair gets more separated. Right now if we play the animation you can see the hair goes right through the face and also right through the ear and if we want to have the hair collide with other objects or with the own face we can select this object and add in a collision modifier. If we press play now it takes a little bit longer to load but we can see the hair bounces off the ear. Some of the hair still clips through it but it's already way better. You can see the hair slides into this gap of the face so it is affected by it. You can also play around with the collision setting, maybe with the damping and the inner thickness. The lower these two settings are the more detailed it is and the damping we can set to 1. And this should also fix some problems but as you can see it takes way longer to load. So also here again find the settings that works for your scene. If your camera is further away you don't need that much of details. If you have a close up shot maybe you need to have those thickness super low. But for my case this works perfectly fine and we can move on. For now I use the Cycles render engine. You can also use Eevee but again Cycles is way more detailed and way more realistic if you want to go for that feeling. Let's head over to the material tab and add in a new material. That the hair is affected by the material color we need to change it from principal BSDF to hair BSDF. And now if we select a color you can see it gets updated and we can change it to a color we like. You can also play around with the roughness U and the roughness V right here. 
This changes the look and how the light reacts with the hair, but normally the basic setting should be all fine. If you are happy with your animation, you can go back into the particle hair settings and on the cache we can change how long the simulation should last, let's say 120 and then we press bake. After the bake is done, we can scroll through the timeline and the simulation is safe, so it can't be broken anymore, but also can be changed. If you want to change some settings, maybe the look or the style, how the hair behaves, we can just delete the bake and then change some settings and bake it again. That was it for this tutorial. I hope you could learn something. If you have some questions, write them in the comments and I see you the next time. Peace out.